Hello, welcome to ClickShare.com. Today, let's look at first sorted value function and I have divided this tutorial into two parts. So this is the first part of two part series. So as most of you know that this function can be used in both uh, chart expression and also can be used as uh, scripting expression. However, in this tutorial, I'm going to focus only on using this function as chart expression. Before we understand this function, let me talk about my own experience on how I have started learning using first sorted value function. So I've spent loads of time trying to use set analysis. I'm a big fan of set analysis, I have to admit. And then uh, whatever problem or whatever expressions I have to write, I generally tend to lean on, uh, on using set analysis approach. However, uh, like like most of you as well would, would agree with me that set analysis is very powerful, but sometimes you need to step back and uh, look at other alternatives. Although please understand that uh, a first sorted value function supports set expression. So it definitely supports the set expression and you can use the set modifier. So let's get started and let us look at the PowerPoint slide and uh, let's gain more understanding and let's um, go ahead and look at some practical examples as well in part two. So let me quickly jump into slide two. Okay, I'll talk about uh, topics covered, pretty straightforward. So probably give detailed explanation about first sorted value function. And then uh, what's interesting is I've included logical expression processing. So I'll talk more about it when I jump into that slide. And in part two, I'm going to cover where can we use first sorted value function. So I'm going to, I'll try to get as many scenarios as possible uh, to show you on where you can use the first sorted value function. And then uh, followed by that, I, I'll probably create many practical examples on how to use first sorted value function. So. Let's jump into the next slide. In this slide, let's understand more about first sorted value function. So I think the whole uh, first video is focused on theoretical aspects of understanding first sorted value function. And the second video followed by this video will contain more practical examples. So I would definitely recommend you to look forward for that video. So what does this function do? This function returns the first value of expression sorted by corresponding sort weight. And as you know, sort weight should be a numeric value. And it returns a null value if more than one expression value share the same sort order value. So if, if there is a tie in sorting, it returns the null value unless you perform the aggregation or do something else to overcome that issue. And uh, to extract the last sorted value, which is opposite of uh, first sorted value, we need to add the minus sign to the sort weight field. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So once you flip the field, add the minus value, you can act, you're actually looking at the last sorted value instead of the first sorted value. And uh, you can use set expressions or set modifiers and you can also use total qualifier and you can also use not surprisingly you can also use the agri function so let's quickly jump into the next slide and let's this might look pretty confusing at the beginning but uh, i thought it's useful for you to understand how you should think about this function so that you you can remember it for a long, long time. That's the whole purpose of having this particular slide. So I'll cover the, the logical expression processing and please understand this is completely different from, from physical processing of expression. I mean, click view engine will not evaluate the expression as shown in this diagram or the slide. I'm sure you must be thinking, why are we talking about logical processing when it's not the same as physical evaluation process. And the reason for doing this approach or the reason the reason following this approach is that we will have better understanding of the expression and its syntax. 
it's pretty simple just need to have good understanding and have the foundation knowledge on what uh, what this expression can do if you find this whole slide confusing or complicated then you can ignore it however i'm trying to share my learning methodology so that you can benefit from the same i hope this slide helps and provides better understanding of first sorted value and once again let me emphasize that uh, this particular diagram does not represent the actual or physical processing of expression because ClickView evaluates more efficiently than shown uh, than what is shown in this diagram and i'm sure there are more complex algorithms to evaluate uh, um, expressions so I'm, I'm not going to talk more about uh, physical processing or anything to do with physical processing it's it's only about logical processing so what happens, let's say if you're using this particular expression, it starts, so the evaluation process starts here and this is the first step. It checks if there is a set expression and if there is a set expression, it looks for the set modifier and it modifies the set and picks up the subset of the data and it passes back as an output one to step two. And if there is no set expression, obviously it jumps back to step two and in step two it looks for nested aggregation if there is any requirement for nested aggregation yes then uh, it moves on and then if there be, let's say that we are using an agree function so it calculates the aggregation and then uh, it jumps back to output two which is the input for step three and in step three uh, it looks up and then it sorts the field the sorting is done in step three and once the sorting is done and then it jumps back and it looks for uh, if you have specified any nth value so if you don't specify any value you will get the first sorted value and if you specify number two you will get the second sorted value number three third sorted value and so on and so forth and after that uh, uh, it, it, it returns a scalar value or the null value so it looks up for the field or the expression where what we wanted to return and it returns the value so it will always be a scalar value and then uh, if you have more than like i've mentioned earlier if we have more than one value returning then uh, it will return the null and that's the end of the process so i hope this kind of makes sense and uh, gives gives you a better understanding of how uh, you should be thinking about first sorted value and if you find, like I said, if you find it confusing, you can always skip it and look for the next one, next slide. So that's that's all about uh, the first part of this particular video. And in the second part, I'm going to cover uh, more practical stuff on how to use first sorted value. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and have a good day.